Now that you've been in uh, a high state, a high profile game, how, how does that help you going to uh, Penn State? I thought a lot, um, you know, getting ready to play at Happy Valley, getting ready to play, uh, have experience at TCU, but uh, nothing like Happy Valley, so uh, nothing really helps. Did you make the trip two years ago, even though you're a redshirt? Did you make the trip to Happy Valley? Just yeah, what are your recollections? There. You said it left a bad taste. Yeah, it did. I didn't play, but you know, I was upset. You know, lost that game. What was the lesson learned there? Just watching. Uh, just the atmosphere. You know, it doesn't matter if they're ranked or unranked. If they're winning games, losing games, they can win at any point, any time in that, in that stadium. So uh, you have to bring your best every time you play there. You know, you you kind of carry the Alon now of a, kind of a big time quarterback. You know what I mean, uh, Dwayne? Do you, do you look forward? to this kind of like situation on Saturday night? I mean, we asked you that before you went to the TCU game, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know, how does it uh, how does it enhance it for you, just this kind of atmosphere? I mean, I look forward to every game, but a game like this, you know, this makes everything how much more, you know, uh, worth it. So uh, I'm definitely excited to play at Happy Valley on Saturday. It makes it that much more. The fact that I know a bunch of players on the team, uh, me and Tracy used to work out together mm -hmm. back in high school. So just um, having the opportunity to go compete against him blow for blow, I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, we're, we're all talking about you in glowing terms right now. Uh, where, where do you see uh, – what, what are you pleased with the way you've handled things through four games as a starter? But the, where do you see some improvement that could be made? Yeah, this um, is only my fourth game, and I don't feel like I only can get better. So um, just to keep executing, you know, making minimal mistakes. Um, just feel like I'm doing a great job managing the offense, managing downs and situations. We just keep getting better at that every week. Do you pay attention to the hype? No. Not at all. Like mm -hmm. you don't watch the Sports Center and see the Heisman odds and all that kind of stuff. Not at all. Do you ever pay attention to it? No, I'm gonna play speak for so. <clears throat> Dwayne, you said you know Trace a little bit. Um, what do you like about his game? He's a competitor. You know, has that Baker's like type personality type. You know, competitive edge. You know, watching him growing up in high school, he went to Barry Woods. He won every state championship every year he played, and um, he just a really fierce competitor. Kevin Wilson was talking about how great your preparation is, film work and everything, meetings. Um, just can you explain the difference when you're a backup quarterback to when you're a starting quarterback, just how to be exponentially different the, the preparation is? Oh, yeah, definitely. Totally different. You know, um, you watch film as a backup, you're not really looking at small tendencies, not really looking at who plays what on what side of the field or, you know, does a corner stance inside on a certain, certain, certain coverage. And then when you start, you just see every minimal, like every small detail, and you just pay attention to all those things, and it all adds up on Saturday. Is watching film fun? Is it like a chore? Is it sometimes a little bit of both? Or? I mean, you know, last, like, first couple of years, it was like, man, do I have to watch film? You know, I just, I just want to go play, but now it is, I feel how important it is, and actually it's fun for me to be able to see that Sam come on a rifle and be able to pick it up in protection and be able to, you know, see all the coverage out on the field. It makes it that much more, more fun for me. Coach Meyer and Coach Wilson have talked about the Change in the dynamic of the offense from last year when you had JT, who was more of a running quarterback, pull it and go, mm. to you, who's more of a pocket passer. What have you sensed that shift? I mean, I, I I'd probably see that in play calling wise, but we still have all those plays in the playbook and we still practice them every day. But uh, it just depends on what we're calling for that week and um, whether it's um, passing or throwing, whatever coach there, Coach Wilson calls, I'm going to do it the best of my ability. What was the feeling like for you in the first half last week? You only played a half. I don't know if you remember that or not. But uh, 20 out of 23, 304 yards, five touchdowns. What, what is what is it like playing that kind of game at quarterback, if you understand what I'm saying? I mean, is it, it does it feel almost like right? Sandlot? Yeah. Or does, I mean, huh? 20, 20, 21. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Honestly, when I play, it's like I'm, I feel like I'm playing a video game. I see the field, and I see the receivers, and it's like no one's there. Yeah. So, um when I play, it's just like, you know, execute. And uh, every play is an opportunity to throw completion, and that's the end goal of me. I want to throw the ball every time I throw the football. Being able to assimilate things like that in your in your mind, that's what separates guys, you know, from one level to the next and into the NFL. How long have you been able to sort of like put the pieces in place, so to speak, uh, Dwayne, from yeah, what you're looking at, you know? I mean, I feel like every level I've gotten better with it, but um, just having that experience, having great coaches, being able to put the film onto the field and putting meetings to the field, Definitely has helped me so far throughout this season, and I'm looking forward to doing it again on Saturday. Well, I asked you a couple of weeks ago if you, you know, just about the spring and going head to head with Joe Burrow and how that helped you. Mm -hmm. I think I saw you maybe sneak a peek at down in TCU up on the board to see how he was playing in that Auburn game. Yeah, uh, several times. Yeah. Huh. yeah. You know, what did that mean to you to be able to see that? And is it weird at all to have been watching him and not had him warming up next to you? Uh, this is a little bit of both. Um, I'm excited for Joe, and he has the opportunity to play at a great place like LSU. And um, 
just being able to watch a little bit of those, those clips on and during warm-ups a big old jumbotron in Dallas Cowboy Stadium. I was excited for him, you know, for him to have that, that two-minute drive that he did and be able to make those plays that he did. I know I see all the, all the time in practice during spring ball and whenever he was here. And um, it's different not having him on the field, his little mannerisms, his jokes that he, he's so famous for. But, um, you know, I'm happy for him. You guys both have so much going on. Are you able to keep in any kind of contact now? Yeah, we try. We still follow each other on social media, and every now and again we, we text. But, um, you know, it's hard when... I'm busy, he's busy, you know, but we watch for each other from afar. Wayne, what are your impressions of Penn State's defense? They have had their struggles at times this year. What do you see when you're watching the film? Uh, still some experienced players, you know, really sound defensively. Um, the starting Sam linebacker went to my high school, Cam Brown. So uh, I know a lot of players who like recruiting and all that other stuff. So um, I was watching them on film. Yeah, they made a couple of mistakes, but every defense does. But, um, you know, when they, when they get things rolling, they're pretty good. Was he? Go I want to ask you about Michael Jordan snapping. He, was, he struggled, obviously, against TCU, but he was much better last week. How much did you work with him last week on, on those snaps? I mean, I just tell Mike, just give me the ball, and, you know, I'll make it work. And uh, not every snap has to be perfect. I just want the ball in my hand. So I tell him every time we do practice, like, the ball starts with you. You know, quarterback's important, but you touch the ball every play like how I do. So, I mean, whenever we do warm-up snaps or we are snapping against the ones or the scout team, you know, every every time you snap the ball, it's like a game rep. Dwayne, you said you admire Tate or not Tate, geez, Trace's uh, competitiveness. <laughs> how much of a part of that? How much of that is part of your game? Like, what's your competitor level? I guess how would you assess that? I mean, I probably wouldn't say I'm like that rah rah guy, but um, just like fiery. You know, there's plays where I get pretty excited. There's plays where I'm like that's routine. But um, watching, you know, Trace have those big plays and you know the baseball swing and, and the salute to the stands, like that's all fun for me to watch him do that. You know, and I haven't had an opportunity to really do that yet, but, um, you know, just watching his competitive edge, watching how he competes, especially in high school, you know, just uh, I want to add that to my game. Someone said to, to yeah. Coach Meyer during the week that you're an even-keeled guy, and his comment was that there was a time where you were uneven-keeled, meaning you were maybe a little too calm all the time. Mm. How's that adjustment going, and how is it for you to maybe flip that switch to be a little more fiery and be someone who's sort of captivating and rallies team around them? I, mean, I always felt like I was always like a good leader, but uh, as far as like speaking and like yelling all that stuff, I was it just never, never really was me. But um, I just feel like as far as a quarterback goes, your offensive line looks at you. You know, you get hit. They don't want to see you look shaked up. They don't want to see you be upset. So I always wanted to be just like uh, even kill, calm, cool, collected. You know, and uh, whenever I get an opportunity to go play football, it's just a game to have fun. You know, if the time I mean, I think came, that people that... kind of look at <coughs> being a leader as yelling in the locker room. Yeah, like I know, like JT was known for his big pregame speeches, even going back to the high school level. But is there something a little overrated about that? Like, not JT speaking, but just being a loud person? Because I remember when you came into the Michigan game last year, you were super subdued as well, like you are right now. Is there, like, a sense of calmness and confidence that the team can get from somebody like that that doesn't really say much but always kind of has this aura of, I've got this? Yeah, I mean, um Talk to Deshaun about that a lot because he's not a very fiery person either. You know, people know who you are. They can tell whether you're real or fake. And um, there's moments when you have to, you know, be fiery. There's moments you have to yell. And um, there's moments when you have to just be calm and be cool and be even killed. But um, just having that happy medium is what's important, I feel like, especially as a quarterback. You don't need to be in someone's face yelling all the time, especially like guys like Isaiah Prince. He'll tell you, like, hey, back up. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, just, you just have to know who you're, who you're, who's your teammates, when, who's your players. When's the last time somebody told you to back up? Or when's the last time you got loud? And why? Uh, loud. Sounds like it was Isaiah. <laughs> sounds, Isaiah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I have a lot of older people on the offensive side of the ball, so I know what they're doing. So I don't really have to yell at those guys to get going. You know, they pretty much know. So I'm... Um, Probably just like when we're in tempo period or, you know, Coach Myers like faster or whatever we got to do, you know, me and Zay and Zay's tired. He's running five plays and we're like, all right, I got it for like two. From last year being, you know, two years ago being over there, what what did you remember about the atmosphere that you liked? What what what, what did you like about that stadium and the pom-poms and the, which, which, the white which at Penn State? Um, I think they have like speakers in the student section. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. But, um... <laughs> I mean, I went, I went as a recruit in high school, and um, when I did go, they lost to Maryland. But um, just how loud that atmosphere gets, how, you know, how crazy that place can get, how loud it can be. It's a night game, you know, wide out, you know. I'm excited just to see how we react to all the noise. Hey, Dwayne, I mean, you were once committed to Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, how much do you keep track of something like that, having, you know, gone to high school in Maryland? Do you follow the program? Do you see what went on there? And how much do you keep track of something that could have been your path at one point? I mean, they're not really. Um, I just more so keep up with like 
with Loxie, how he's doing, and um, Coach Etzel. But um, I still follow some players that go there. It's like I do with every other school that you know I have connections with. But um, you know they're doing pretty well, playing pretty well. Um, Kasim and I are pretty close, but um, they're, they're doing pretty good. Hey, so one far. last thing, I know you said last question, but somebody asked you earlier that if you ever pay attention to hype mm-hmm. or watch ESPN or see the Heisman stuff, you're on Twitter all the time. You kind of pay attention to it, right? I don't have cable, so I don't watch ESPN. <laughs> um, I don't, but uh, I don't really like pay attention to all that stuff. I might get might get it sent to me or whatever, but that's expected. But I, you know, don't really pay attention to it. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Hulu, what do you have, man? You gotta, you gotta watch something. And Netflix and chill. Yeah. Google Play. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>